Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about my Chanel mascara. I've had this already for probably almost two months now and I finally decided to start reviewing the mascaras I do use. So I normally buy mascaras every three months because I think that's the shelf life that you should keep using a mascara or else you will get like infection. I did have that but I'm not sure if it was the mascara or the eyeliner I was using but I think Stai, I think that's the name. So I tried to like change them every three months. So so this is the Chanel Inimitable Waterproof Mascara. So, so I normally I only buy waterproof because so my filming was cut because my battery is low bat and I tried to film three videos today. That's why I think I really need an extra battery in case something happens. Like some moments I need like an extra battery. I'm not sure where I ended, but yeah, we just I will just let you see how it would be with the application of this mascara. Now we will apply the mascara from Chanel. So as you can see, my lashes, like a typical Asian lashes, that's really straight and going down. That's my problem with my lashes. It never is like, unlike like my husband's lashes really like curled all day. I hope I have his lashes, but yeah, this is like the Asian problem. So what I do first is I use my, my curl lashes from Shuamara. So I normally, lash from the like roots almost uh, like near the roots then the middle part and then the bottom uh, uh like the upper lash so a friend suggested that trick so it will like curl better so i will show you so like that the middle and then the upper yeah if you compare it here really makes a difference and also for the the mascara will hold it so I do that again so yeah if you see that it's really amusing trick so thank you Carlvin or Bass Jane for teaching this to me so Okay, I'll just curl the other lashes and I will just let you see how it looks later. So this is how it looks when after curling, so it really looks lifted. So now we will apply the mascara. So I first coat, so I first one coat on the other side and then the other side. You can see it really looks already good, but I will still try another like coat maybe i'll dip it again it's not so much product anymore so normally i only use two coats um yeah so this is how it looks and then i will apply the lower part with the excess from this from the application so you just apply it that's why you don't dip it again when you apply for for the lower lash because it will look like this, like it will smudge and it will be too much product and I don't really like um, to like this thick or lashes that's why I try to um, just like the excess from the product so this is how it looks with both the lower and upper lash line applied so I'll just remove like excess with my finger so that was my application with this uh, Chanel mascara as you can see it really lifted my lashes and normally i notice at work it stays like this although it will be dripping a bit but not like totally like straight like what i have like naturally but yeah it, it really holds the curl that's why i always choose a waterproof because only waterproof can do that for me and also they don't smudge all over so you don't look like you have panda eyes and yeah i just love how it looks as you can see it really gives a volume and like a length especially length i noticed with this mascara because um yeah it's just really nice i normally 
only use Japanese mascara but there was a time that I needed an immediate replacement and if I order it in Nia style it will take like weeks or even even month or a month that's why I tried first the Lancome but the Lancome was too big I should have reviewed that as well but I think from now on I will try to review the mascaras I have then that was the one but this is really a nice thin one what I like about this is that um, when you coat the lower lash it's not um, hard unlike the Lancome it's because it's too like big and chubby it's like annoying to apply it below so normally I only look for uh, something like this like thin even thinner than this I prefer that's why I chose this as well because I remember I did have a Chanel mascara before way back I think 2012 or 11 and I did love it but it was not the waterproof I think so I wanted the waterproof and I really love it and the packaging is really like vintage looking and with their logo and just like a gold detail and a black body and for the definition of this mascara it's a mascara that offers an instant natural and long-lasting 3d makeup result application that ensures volume length curl and separation of lashes water resistant yeah that's i really agree i really love the quality of this it's almost like the mascara from japan but i think I might prefer this so I'm glad that I really like the mascara that I can just easily buy here I like if I order in Asia it takes a while but I do love it. they're almost comparable but I think I prefer this I thought that was my favorite but as you can see it really gives length and volume and it separates really nice it doesn't like clumps and yeah it's just really nice and the fiber or like the applicator I think because it's like a tiny like brush um style i think that's the for the 3d effect it helps with that i think that's what they this is like the 3d effect that they're saying they, it's really long lasting it holds the curls really nicely so i highly recommend it and i'm glad i did try and chose to i chose to buy and try it so I will post a blog post about it and I will provide more pictures you can check it in my description box and some information if I forget to mention I will also put it there and yeah, if you like this video please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me so yeah thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one bye <music>